All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to file your metal. This is done after you have spent the time cutting the interior shape and the exterior shape of your piece of metal and you've drilled the holes that you have. Now it's time to really clean up those edges and make sure that it's your strongest bit of work. Uh, so first of all, in your kit, you have a set of files. Some of you have about four, some of you may have a few more. Uh, the reason you have a bunch of different ones is they have different shapes and they do slightly different things. So files are these pieces of metal that are harder than the soft metals that we're working with, copper, nickel, and brass. And they have these little teeth on one side, well on both sides here, and then they have a handle on the other side. So you always hold it where that handle is. Uh, some of them have flat edges, so this one is just a flat file. This one is a rounded file, so it comes to a point and it is a circular um, file. And then this is what's called a half round. So on one side it's flat, on the other side it's got a subtle curve. Uh, there are also lots of other ones that you can use depending on the shape of the hole or what you're trying to file. These are really good for you. All right, so filing is something that uh, can be very helpful, but you use it for bigger imperfections. So for instance, if I'm looking at this piece right here and I have a pretty straight line across, if I wanna just clean it up slightly, a file might not be the best piece to use because a file might make some deeper grooves in this piece. Instead, a file is really good, let's say, on a piece like this where I have this little extra edge that I need to get rid of. This piece down here, I could use a file to get, or I might even go back and saw. Um, but this little part right here would be perfect for a file too, just because there are smaller bumps that you can take care of. If you use a file on something that is straighter or that you only want a slight perfect, or uh, to make it slightly better, the file can actually go too far very quickly. So you do have to be careful with that. All right, so files cut on the push stroke, okay, away from the handle. So what that means, I'll show you with my half round file, is that if I am working on this edge right here, I'm going to use my flat because this is a flat edge and it only works in this direction away from me. If I go and pull back against the metal, what I can do is actually uh, bend some of these teeth down and then they don't work as well. So what it looks like is this. Now it might be a little too small for you to see, but now there are these little ridged marks along where I've been filing, and I can see where I might need to do a little more. So I want this to be a straight edge, but I notice at the end here it starts to curve down. So that means I have to take a little bit away in this region. If you notice, I'm propping my metal up against my bench pin. Some people like to hold it along the side here. It's whatever is comfortable so that you can hold it steady as you go. Okay, now for interiors, I can also use my files, but I have to be careful at corners and such because if I were to go along this piece right here, I can actually cut in to the side wall because there are teeth on the side. So just be careful of that. These are more for bigger issues that you need to take care of. You don't need to do them on every single surface. So that's filing.